Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you what to do if your Microsoft Teams vertical scroll bar is missing. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to clear the Teams cache. To do this, press the Windows button, type in run and select it from the search result. Now simply copy paste the following command. Now press on OK and in here simply delete all the content in the folder. So shift and delete, press on yes and you're good to go. Next in line, another useful solution is to run Teams in compatibility mode. Now in order to do this, open up an instance of your file explorer, then head over to the following location, C, and then users, your username, then app data, afterwards double click on local, then Microsoft, afterwards scroll way down until you find Windows apps and open it up, and in here search for Microsoft Teams. Now find the Teams executable file, right click on it and select the properties option. Now head over to the compatibility tab and then select run this program in compatibility mode 4 and select Windows 7 or Windows 8, doesn't matter, it should work from here on because this might be a compatibility issue. Sometimes, maybe if you have Windows 7 or maybe if you're running an OS that just seems to work with this compatibility mode, make sure to try it out and as well run this program as an administrator. So tick this box next to it, click on apply and OK and then you can save the changes and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to repair or reset Microsoft Teams. To do this, press the Windows button, head over to Settings, afterwards click on Apps on the left pane and then on the right side click on Installed Apps. Now in here in the Search Apps box, simply type Teams and afterwards click on the three dots next to Microsoft Teams. Now head over to Advanced Options and afterwards scroll way down until you find the Reset section and you can start by clicking on the Repair button. In this case, the app data won't be affected at all. But if this doesn't work properly, you can also click on the reset button. In this case, the app's data will be deleted and everything will return to a default state. Then you can restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to simply reinstall Teams. Once again, click on the start button, head over to settings, now click on apps on the left pane, then click on installed apps. Once again, in the Search Apps box, type in Teams and then select Microsoft Teams from the search results and click on the Uninstall button. Now once Teams is uninstalled, click on the Start button, then type in Store and head over to the Microsoft Store app. The last thing you have to do in here is click on the Search Apps box and simply type Teams and then select Microsoft Teams as a search result. Now you can just click on the install button and you're good to go. From here on Windows will automatically install Microsoft Teams for you and then you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.